What's crack lacking everybody? Welcome back to this another episode of Hashtag Triple M, otherwise known as Mail Monday. And holy flip moly, somehow already, it's Jan- well it's not January yet, it's December. And ever since it's done to get like later towards the end of the year, like December, like November sort of period, a lot of the comments said, Ando, I've missed an episode, or like you make a joke referencing another episode, but I don't understand because I haven't seen that episode. And there's just too many episodes for me to go back and just binge watch the whole lot. So that got me thinking, I'm like, alright, you know what we need? I need to combine all the good like packages into one episode, so you can watch this one episode and then be completely up to date with hashtag triple M. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what is the hashtag triple M mega card. So without further ado, sit back, relax, pull that blanket up, and let's get started. Oh no! Oh! We have our first ever bit of Australian money and he sent us five dollars. You say, I don't want to take your money man, this is five dollars! You're probably thinking, Ando, where the flip is the massive Pikachu you bought during the week? Well pretty much if we cut to the chase. He's too big for my room. I flip and have nowhere to put him. Like, if you put him inside the background, like, anywhere here, he literally takes up every single spot in my room. Like, there's no... Because my room's pretty small, so, like, if you put him here, he's the biggest thing ever. And quite simply, you can see, like, none of the drawings, so I don't know where to put him. So, at the moment, he's out there. Let's go visit Pikachu, who's in sort of isolation at the moment. Pretty much, Pikachu chills out here. Now, he's the watchful guardian of the stairs. If any, like, robber comes up the stairs, they'll probably have a heart attack of, like, how big this thing is and roll back down them. It's like, this is the next-gen security device, let me tell you. But the other thing is, I'm so burnt, I realise that I've got, like, really burnt ears. I flippin' burnt my eyeballs. It's getting hot in here. I hope so much you enjoy all the Pokemon cards that I've given you. I've sent you a whole bunch of cards because my mum doesn't approve of Pokemon. No, 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 no. All right, get your mum, get your mum. Sit, all right, if, you, if your parents don't approve of Pokemon, sit them right here in front of this camera. Let me, uh, do I need, I should be, like, more official from talking to the parent. Greetings and salutations. Uh, I believe your son isn't allowed to watch or play Pokemon. This is a shame, because the song that I'm about to play right here, this one, Everything is awesome. was actually based around Pokemon. The only reason why everything is indeed awesome is because Pokemon is around on this planet. So that is the following reason why your son should watch and slash play Pokemon. Thank you for your time. We're going to flipping open this in a sec. I just got to find Mr. S uh, Mr. Stanley's on holidays. They don't call me Muscle Wendo for nothing. Just kidding, no one calls me Muscle Wendo. But guys, I think I'm going to pass out any second now because this is absolutely ridiculous. Holy flippin' moly, it's got everything. It's like the perfect unlisted leaf card. We've got the mascot on the front, a picture of Australia behind it, and a picture of a thunderous. And oh my gosh, if this is not a card in the next Pokemon set, I might just quit Pokemon because this is like the coolest thing ever. Now, find it. Pineapple. If, oh, okay. Uh, you know, okay, when you're about to sneeze, is it just me or do you say like... A friend told me this, no idea if it's true. You say pineapple and you don't have to sneeze anymore. It just, it worked then, and it's worked other times before. Is that, have we just solved the mystery of a sneeze? Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> I was reading the comment section of Last Moment Monday, and a lot of people would, like, one person wanted me to twerk for the intro, so, let's do it. Gas pedal, gas pedal, gas pedal. Toasty! I had, like, some pumpkin soup for lunch, and my tongue is on fire. Like, I can't feel anything in my tongue area. I think I've, like, burned all the nerves off. Oh, no, are you kidding me right now? Are you flipping kidding me right now? Check this thing out. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm absolutely in shock. It is the biggest drawing we've ever seen on Monday, but it's a massive fat Pikachu. It is probably the coolest thing I've seen in my entire life. He's holding, like, a bag of potato chips, and he's also got a lollipop there. It's a fat Pikachu. I absolutely, honestly love it so much. I've got to find, like, a really good spot on the wall to put it. Uh, even that, I want to, like, get it framed or something. Today is actually my birthday and I turned 20 years old. That's so old. <laughs> but as depressing as that is, I still get some birthday presents. And you guys don't want to see what I got for my birthday, do you? You don't really. All right. So if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably already seen this gift, but it's the craziest thing ever. I definitely got to show you guys again. So say you came home from like a tough day of work and you earned like 20 cents, the big bad boy 20 cents, but you like got nowhere to put it. So you got to put it in your money box. Let's just put it in the dog bowl, see what happens. Yep, that just happened. <laughs> No! Are you sick? What the? What? No, guys, 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 guys. I, okay, I'm seriously stunned. I, I don't know any words right now. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, guys, if I've ever met this in my entire life, make sure you do your seatbelts up. Because are you looking right inside of there? It's entirely filled with booster packs. I'm not even playing around right now. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so stunned. I'm so sorry, guys, if I seem really stunned. But look how many are in there. This is crazy. Holy mother. Look at this. 
that is all Furious Fist boost packs. And another flipping handful of all, like, Phantom Forces boost pack right here. There's all the artworks and all that. No way. To finish it off, we've got even more Phantom Forces boost packs. Like, if that wasn't enough, here's some more to go with your collection. I quit. I quit. I quit YouTube. I think this person's literally gone to the Pokemon factory and robbed them of all their booster packs. This is not real. This cannot be real right now. Even more. Like, look at this right here. That is how many are right. Look how many. Like, that's ridiculous. Hey, look, it's blue. Oh yeah, so now it's getting hot here because let me lend you my fan of $100,000 in Pokemon cash. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Let's open the box with a Blu-ray player on the front. I am so nervous right now because look at it. I've even got the shakes. Like, that's how crazy this episode's been. Okay, let's open up what claims to be the best package ever. You know, it'd be really funny if like I opened this up and it's actually a Blu-ray player. I would probably die. Like, that's pretty sick. What is that? It's like, uh, it's a, oh my gosh. It's a super duper old, like, really mid condition Flash comic book. Oh, I love my man. He's my absolute man. Check this out, guys. We've got creamy mac and cheese meatballs with mild cheese sauce in the front. Is that like, uh, is that the Native American sort of uh, mac and cheese that you guys have? Leave a comment in the comment section below because, guys, if it's not, we've got another one, which is the super duper awesome Shell's Cheese Original Craft Flavor. I knew you guys, um, what is it? I've got a Canadian friend, and every time I go to his house, they always say, let's have some craft. Craft mac and cheese? I'm pretty, you always, always put like craft at the front of the mac and cheese. Is that a normal thing? And let's keep going inside the package. I'm going to be 100% real with you guys, but what I see right now, it could possibly be, it looks to be a flipping fire red leaf green EX boost pack. I'm just opening this right now. Prepare for the worst. Just prepare for the worst. It could be fake. It could be already opened. I'm taking this out. I see a jungle. I see a jungle boost back right now. No way. Like, I'm not even playing around right now, but he's actually sent a fully sealed, this is 100% real as well, fire red leaf green boost back. You can see me shaking. Alright, nine cards in that one. First edition, Team Rocket, 11 additional game cards. So there's 11. That's Wizards of the Coast status. First edition, uh, what is this? Gym Heroes Pokemon boost back. I haven't opened Gym Heroes in ages. Oh my gosh, there's some awesome cards there. Oh, wow. First edition gym challenge Pokemon boost pack. That thing has so many cool cards. I think there's a Charizard on that one. And then the flipping top it off, we've got a Pokemon jungle boost pack. I know so many people love the jungle set so much. And look at that, Wizard of the Coast and everything, the official ISBN barcode. Oh my gosh, bruh. Hopefully you're sitting down, but last but definitely not least, we've got the world's biggest package I think I've ever got mail. Like, this is it. This is probably the biggest package I've ever got mail on Monday. It says fragile on the front. It's absolutely huge. It costs a stupid amount of money to post to me. So without further ado, let's open this one up. I'm so nervous to walk and be in it. Make sure you leave a comment in the comments section below. Like, place your bets. What do you think could be inside there? But let's just grab this one and go. So I managed to break, like, one side of the box open. I think I'm just going to... What's inside? It looks like it's just one massive bit of uh, artwork. No way. Holy flipping mac and cheese and meatballs, my pants, mother duck. What the heck? Seriously, guys, I'm absolutely speechless. I'm lost for words. I don't even know how to react to this right now, but check this thing out. It is a massive drawing of me and my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Are you kidding me right now? I know nothing else to see, but he's got like shiny paper and he's glued over the top of certain bits, so like the glasses are reflective, the necklace is reflective, some of the buttons on my shirt are reflective, and then now uh, like, of course, on some of the Pokemon as well. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Postman Pat's arrived every- oh my, thank you. Let's have a round of applause for Postman Pat. We're just gonna have to end that in, there's no round of applause, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, let's crack into the first. We're gonna have two packages by the looks of things. There's actually a legitimate package by the looks of it. Let's get into this one very first. Sorry, didn't mean to throw that right down. It's already- oh, it's pre-opened. It's no, pre-opened me, I, I promise you. There's food in there. You've eaten the food? He's eaten the food already. I can already tell. Alright. So first up here, looks like we got... Oh my god, this actually is it. I've had this before. Believe it or not, what did he pronounce this one for me? Toffee! Yeah, pretty much it looks like we got toffee, which is actually the, uh, it's the hazelnut chocolate sort of combines. Jamie Oliver's recommended it. He hasn't, but that's probably what he need. It's that amazing. You know what? Do you want to try out... Do you want to try Mr. Postman Pat himself? Would you like... We may kill him. I don't know if he's a poison. Would you like to try one? Yeah. Let's break this open. Let's do it. It's an Andrew Tries Postman Pat special. Let's do this thing. Nick Mana. <laughs> Holy flipping moly, we're back again. We're back at the uh, reading time set. Alright, time to read another letter. Give it to me straight. Yo, I'm listed late. What's up? 
Out of an hour spent with you and a week spent with the richest person in the world, I would choose you. It's really? I'm not that interesting. I have a lot of Pokemon cards and a lot of uncommons and comments. Post Postman Pat probably wouldn't spend it with the richest guy in the world, wouldn't you Postman Pat? Uh, you know, that's not answer that. Guys, 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 I know, I know, I'm posting Mel on Monday on a Wednesday, but seriously, like, what's the worst that could happen? What? No, there, there was like a uni assignment due. The first package we got here is absolutely epic. It comes all the way from America, and check this out. All across the box, it's got like really cool uh, drawings. Okay, look, the postman probably ripped that bit of sticky tape off right there. We've got a Mew on the side, we've got four unlisted leaf, and we've got the Pikachu there with all electronic marks around it. And then on the other side, we've got a whole bunch of Pokeballs. Because this is ridiculous. Holy mac and cheese meatballs. First up here, we've actually got a extremely limited edition Pokemon like Pokemon Center Pikachu plush toy, which looks super duper awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm like obsessed with plush toys straight up that top five video. He's actually sent an Apon plush toy as well, which is, oh my, this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And then we've also got, like on top of that, a Torchic one. Da -da, da -da -da -da. What do you guys reckon? I reckon that went from zero to hundred pretty fast. That's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for the plush toys. And then we've also got probably the craziest amount of like Pokemon toys we've ever seen ever. But what I love is this one right here. It's gonna require the right. It says twist the tail. And then the super small print it says squeeze the arm. So oh god, what's gonna about you guys, but that's like my next week's worth of entertainment all set there, but that is... <laughs> what is that? Well, I, I have no idea. It's a requirement that has a flipping tail. That's pretty baller. What's that, guys? You think it might be a bit sunny in here? Do not worry. Because <laughs> we've got an exclusive pair of Palka and Dialga. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Palka and Dialga sunglasses. They're absolutely tiny. Look at this thing. Swag boss. We've also got like, a couple of McDonald's uh, launches there. we got a Pokemon Pokeball as well. And... No way. What the heck is... Are you serious? Oh my god, this is actually so... This is that... Oh my... Okay, sunglasses off. That was, this is a promo jumbo card from back in... Is it 1999 and 2000s, I'm pretty sure? But this is crazy. Yes, the Articuno Moltres Zapdos card. And that is probably like the dead set most gangster thing I've ever received ever. Holy mother duck. No, no, holy flipping mac and cheese and meatballs, my pants mother duck. Guys, we just, are you serious right now? Sitting in the garage for a little over like, I think three months now, we've had a Wild Blaze. I think this is still, I've got no idea. This Wild Blaze booster box actually comes all the way from Joey in New Jersey. So thank you so much. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. What are we, oh, oh gee, we, I'm so suspicious right now. Thank you so much for the sealed Wild Blaze Japanese boost box. I'll definitely have to open that soon. Thanks a bunch, Joey. <laughs> Oh my guys, watch out. And it's just been given the Green Lantern Ring of Doom. Look at this, superpowers. Alright, everybody. Oh, did anything happen? Probably not. It can't be that bad. So without further let me I'm just gonna try these bad boys out. Let's bat these open. Is it bad that I don't even What is that? Oh. Oh, what's that that smells? Oh my gosh, it stinks! Oh my gosh, it's like if a pig had diarrhea or something. That is incredibly bad. I'm literally gonna need like a peg on my nose if I'm gonna eat this. Uh, oh, what a sniff it again? What a sniff it again? That's disgusting. I think I'm just gonna try one of these. That's just That wasn't too bad. That was that was all that was actually pretty I would actually eat a whole pack of those. I'll let you I'll even have another one. That was pretty good. I established a team of soldiers. Uh, Mum and Dad. <clears throat> I got myself involved. I got the whole neighborhood, and together, we built my future crib, aka Ando's house, because he's gonna be homeless when he grows up. <laughs> I can't save money. But without further ado, guys, let me introduce you to the one, the only, my own Monday MTV Crib Tour. Let's do it. See you the MTV. Welcome to what is the hashtag Triple M Crib. So uh, I'd like to show you around, you know, it's a big spacious one, bit, not even a bedroom, one bit of floor. We've got carpet, suss the carpet. Now this is pure fluff. Oh. Get this state-of-the-art roof design, alright? Look, companies haven't even thought of this yet. 
So on one side here, we've got mainly water type Pokemon. So obviously they're gonna absorb the rain, they're gonna like, and then spit it right back out. So you know, they're water type Pokemon. Okay, maybe if you want water type Pokemon, I had to fill the gaps up. But then, on the other side of the road here, we've got a better state of the art system. Whole bunch of Pikachus, like literally all the different Pikachus and then some water type Pokemon again. Now that is like water's best friend. Electricity, water, they go hand in hand. But then I know what you're thinking. But what about those cold nights, you know, where it gets a little nippy, you've only got three walls in your house on a four-wall thing. Do not worry, we've got Will's mixtape, so thank you very much for sending that Will. Uh, I'm sure it's pure fire, which is going to keep me very warm tonight. Uh, <laughs> There's actually one thing that someone sent me that I thought, you know what, I've got to show this on camera. It is none other than Holy Flip Molly, Hold Your Flipping Pants On, a sweatband. So you know, like, when you're playing tennis, things get pretty hashtag crazy, you start sweating a bit, you put this bad boy on, and check this out. Oh my gosh, Insta swag, I know, right? So you put this on and you like wipe the sweat off there, but oh my gosh, how cool. What's happening? Oh my gosh, this thing's making me dance! Holy flipping, holy baby, holy! Take it off! The thing, it's cursed. It's the dancing wristband of doom. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. I don't know if you can see this, but it's done up like, oh yeah, this looks like a casual sandwich. Oh wait, it's a bit of candy. That is insane. It's actually super difficult. Should we, uh, I want to open it. I want to taste it out. Oh God. Sold at Toys R Us. You can buy this at Toys R Us. Are you serious right now? Wee oui, wee, oui, monsieur. Your dish is ready. So check this thing out. Holy flipping moly, I read on the packet, it's the world's first candy sandwich. Uh, what this thing, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to set up so it looks kind of like a sandwich. This here, pure marshmallow, I don't think you can see this, and it's got like hundreds of thousands all across the top here. Then it's got a green, red, uh, it's got four of them I think, look at that. Red and green marshmallows inside, and then the same thing inside, except it's pink. I'm kind of worried it comes from Toys R Us, another candy store, but let's do this thing. Oh gosh, if I die, it was nice knowing you. Nick Mana. But that was epic. Think exactly what you think it tastes like. That's what it tastes like. Check it, guys. Flipping. Check it out. <laughs> I'm in love. That is incredible. Thank you. So Look at this. What do you guys rate? Look, and it's super fluffy in the back as well. It's got like maximum fluff. That is so good. Look at that guy. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Triple M. Oh, it's another day, another life. <laughs> I kind of want to test this out, but last time we did this, I think it went in the neighbor's garden. A few moments later. We've got three of the top competitors here, so without further ado, let's do it. Oh gosh. Oh, I hit him in the bum. Oh no. Help me. What am I looking at? It cannot be. I think I am dying. Too much awesomeness on the screen. This is the time I say goodbye. I have pulled the impossible. Goodbye everybody and thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know how to put this Mr. Stanley, but you can't actually die right now. You still gotta record the rest of the episode, so up you get. Oh come on now. I can never catch a break around this place. Okay, I've got no idea what this is. I think, oh my, I can't read the language, but I know that it's like, is that the picture of apple or apricot pie? I think it's an apricot pie flavoured Kit Kat. Apricot pie flavoured Kit Kat. Are you serious right now? And it's got like a picture of a rabbit on the front for some reason. Let's try it out. Let's give it a go. Apricot pie Kit Kat. Oh! <coughs> oh, that's so strong. That is really, really strong. And look at it. It looks like a bit of candy. There's no way that's chocolate inside. I'm shaking a bit. Oh, that's so strong. Well, guys, for the sake of a hashtag triple M, bottoms up. Hashtag rip handle in the comments. You know what that tastes like? It's like the orange flavored gum, chewing gum. It's like if you're eating an orange flavored chewing gum that you can swallow. And then it's got the wafery goodness inside. <gasps> what the flip? This is so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay. We've been sent eyeballs. Literally, we've been sent eyeballs. I'm not even kidding you right now. Look at those. Oh my, let's take these downstairs and uh, get them out of the pack and try one, I guess. What the heck is this? Okay, guys, we managed to bust the bag open. And I thought they're like soft candies, but they're like super hard ones. And uh, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like hard candy. But we've got to find out what's inside of an eyeball. So I've got the hammer here. Here we go. You ready? Oh gosh, hand-eye coordination. Uh. So inside the uh, like, eyeball here, it looks like we've got some jam substance. Some like, I think it's like a lolly jam sort of thing. And we've got a hard vanilla candy around the outside. Oh, that is disgusting. It's like really Halloween-y. 
Oh my gosh. So yeah, you get like the blood inside the eyeball. This may be the most horrifying Mel Monday gift I've got of all time. Let's do another one. You made it! Holy flippin' you actually made it to the end of the episode! Oh my, thank you so much dude, come in for a hug, this means so much! But my apologies guys, you caught me reading my quilters book, I'm gonna learn how to knock up quite the uh, knitted quilt. Oh jeez, but anyway, that's amazing you made it to the end of the episode. Leave a comment in the comment section below, I am a hashtag meatballer. That way I know you made it to the end of the video, some secret sort of code, you can look through the comments and be like, hmm, that guy's a legend, made it to the end of the video. Hopefully I can see a whole bunch of those comments, I'll try to like respond to as many of those as possible. Thanks again for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this hashtag triple M, but most of all, you're gonna keep on gaming, that's right. Alright, see you then.